Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your own custom domain inside of Kartra. And that way you can you know, use some branding and actually use your domain name uh, for all of your various pages. And so by default, Kartra does give you your own subdomain. So for example, uh, here, you know, um, my username is Alpha Automation. So you do get, you know, alphaautomation.cartra.com. So you get a subdomain, you know, for free. It comes with your account. And so any of your pages will, will have that subdomain and then they get, um, you know, and you can change this if you want to. Um, but either way, it's a subdomain. You know, not so easy to say, spell, or remember, right? And so many of you guys, you have a business and perhaps you want to do some branding. So that's where the benefit of embedding uh, your own domain. You go to GoDaddy or go wherever and you, and you get yourself a domain and you can actually take that domain and embed that inside of Kartra and that way you can change your pages instead of using, so instead of having a subdomain, you can actually have your domain name you know, whatever it is, dot com slash, and then you can name the page. So that way all of your pages are branded with your domain. So let me go ahead and show you how to set that up real quick. There's really just a few steps to it. And from the main screen here, you're gonna come over here and click the silhouette, or maybe you got your picture already uploaded in there for your profile. Uh, go ahead and give that a click. And then you're gonna come down here to where it says custom domains, okay? So to get that set up, all you gotta do is come over here and click the plus, and from there, it's going to ask you, you know, do you want to set up your own subdomain on your domain or do you want to just bring over the whole domain name to use inside of Kartra? Okay, and then this is really for those that are advanced, you know, if you have a specific reason as to why you'd want to create your own subdomain to simply use inside of Kartra, you, you do have the ability to do it. But for the sake of this example, we're just going to use only the main domain. Most people are just going to be bringing their entire domain over to Kartra. So that way you can name your pages, you know, with that domain. Okay. And so first things first, you got to type it in right here. Okay. And so we're going to load up Alpha Automation. This one is a .net. Somebody had me on the .com. Okay. So I'm going to type that in and I'm going to click next. And so what it's going to do is it's going to run you through a couple of steps here, okay, that you need to do to kind of prepare this domain to be used inside of Kartra. You know, it's going to give you an integration guide here. Um, it's going to tell you where to point your CNAME record. So we're going to have to log into your host provider. And, and in my situation, I'm using GoDaddy for this particular domain. You may be using Bluehost or one of the other you know, host providers out there. So your steps will be pretty similar to this. But what we need to do is we need to add a CNAME record Okay, and I say that and it's like, you know, if you're not techie, you're like, Mike, just what is a C name record? You know, the bottom line is not really a big deal. You don't really need to bog yourself down with that. Bottom line is we just need to simply add this record, okay, to um, your DNS settings in, inside of your host provider. So, and, and I'm going to walk you through it and you'll see it's, you know, it's pretty simple. Okay, but we just got to, we just got to add this link. And so, and once you've done so, you're going to come back here and you're going to click okay right here and then you're going to click next so next step for us is going to be to jump on godaddy so uh let's go right here and i'm going to go ahead and get logged in and again i'm just going to do the walkthrough for godaddy all of the different host providers are, are pretty similar um you know really what you're looking for is the dns settings okay so once you're able to find that inside of your host provider uh it's you know again the process is going to be pretty much the same okay so let's jump in here. So alphaautomation.net, and I'm going to grab my DNS settings here. And again, what you're seeing is a bunch of stuff, right? And uh, the bottom line is what it's asking us for here is we need to add, go right here, we need to add a C name record. So point your C name record to Kartra, okay? And on this particular domain, I was, um, you know, and you can see over here, there's the type of records, okay, that you can have. And you can see that I have my C name record here. And right now it's actually pointed at ClickFunnels because I, I did transfer. I, I, I used ClickFunnels for a long time. And so um, I've transferred the majority of my other domains over to Kartra already. So this one is, you know, was still over there on ClickFunnels, but now I'm gonna be bringing it over here to Kartra. And so all I really need to do is just update this particular record because I don't want it to point at ClickFunnels anymore. Now, if it's a fresh domain, it's probably gonna say something, 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 GoDaddy, you know, in here. And all you need to do to change it 
is I'm gonna click this little um, pencil over here and all we need to do is change where it's pointing to, okay? So I'm gonna come back over to this page here and I'm gonna copy this right here, okay? Elfautomation.cartra.com and what, you're, what this is doing is essentially telling uh, GoDaddy. It's, they're saying, okay, look, instead of sending it directly to the domain, you want, and when somebody types in this domain, we want to send it to this particular link, okay? And so that way, it redirect, essentially is going to redirect to your Kartra account, okay? Because this is the subdomain for my Kartra account. So I'm telling GoDaddy, hey, I want to redirect this domain to my, my subdomain here on Kartra. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Oops, and I almost forgot. There's actually one more thing that we need to do. We also need to redirect. Okay, we need to set this up as a redirect as well. Since we're moving over the entire main domain, okay, we're not doing a subdomain and all that. We're bringing the main domain over here. So we also have to set up the redirect to point at this, okay, which is of course our domain. So let's go back into GoDaddy here. And for GoDaddy, it's pretty simple. You just scroll down from here. So here's our DNS record. So we're st staying on the same page. Okay, we are updated the C name record here, but now we gotta go down, go down here and we need to update the forwarding as well. So I'm just gonna add this and we're gonna forward it directly to our domain, okay? And we wanna make sure that this is a permanent setting here and then we're also gonna put forwarding only, okay? And then we're gonna click save. Okay, and now inside of GoDaddy, it's gonna tell you here, you know, it's gonna take a little bit for this to go ahead and update, right? But now that we've done that, we can go back here. So we pointed our CNAME record to Kartra. Okay, we did that right here, check. And we've also set up the redirect, uh, redirect alphaautomation.net to www.alphaautomation.net, which we did right here. Okay, and let me see. I don't think it needs to be S, you know, maybe it does. Okay, let me just update this. Okay, I do like the sites to be secure, so let's save it as HTTPS, okay? So there we go. And now we can come back here and it says, yes, I have completed the above steps, steps to link my custom domain to Kartra. Let's cl click yes, and then click next, okay? And so now it's gonna ask you, okay, you know, is there an index page for this domain? So for your index page, you know, you could just really set that up for now. You know, if you haven't built out a website um, or anything like that just quite yet to uh, use, um, you can always come back and change this. But for now, I'm just gonna grab one of the pages that was already, uh, that we used as one of our templates in one of our previous videos. And I'm gonna set that up uh, as our uh, index page, which kind of be like the home page. Um, you know, kind of the default home page. If somebody goes to alphaautomation.net, this will be the page that it sends them to directly, okay? And as far as your error page, that's gonna be, let's say somebody types in alphaautomation.net slash, and they type in, you know, something, but it's not correct. Maybe I don't have a page with that particular, let's say slash webinar, and let's say they mistype and, and put in, just misspell webinar, and so they, you know, type in your domain slash, and they misspell whatever it is, so what's going to be your error page? And so where do you want them to be sent if they type in an incorrect page? And so again, I'm just going to set that up for now uh, using kind of a dummy page here. Okay, we'll set it up as, you know, a download free ebook for now. Again, those were two test pages that we made in, in a few of our previous tutorial videos. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And so that's it. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. Um, it's gonna take, you know, it says within the day, but usually within a couple of hours, um, you will see that your domain is activated. I'm gonna click close here, and you can see that we are in process. Okay, so it's processing. Once your domain is activated, this will be a green check mark, okay? And then from there, uh, you'll have the ability to go back through all your pages and you can come into the spot right here where after you publish a page, you have the ability to get the link and you can click this uh, edit URL here and you'll have the ability, once your domain is up and it's there, you'll have the ability to change. I can change this to my actual domain slash, you know, whatever I want it to be and I'd put whatever I want after slash right here, okay? Okay, let me just go ahead and refresh, okay? And it may already be good to go. Um, let me go ahead and refresh and let's uh, take just one quick look here. 
get the coder link and get the page link and click the um, pencil and so okay so here's what we had okay slash this and now okay so it, okay there it's already available so uh, the links may not work just yet because uh, things do take some time with godaddy and with cartridge just to process and make sure everything's gonna work so that takes a little bit of time but it's already given me the option um to uh go ahead and start using the custom domain for my page links so all i would have to do so instead of my page reading like this okay so instead of this being my my link okay elfautomation.cartra.com slash page slash blah 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 uh, i could actually change this so let's say i wanted this to be okay i can just go elfautomation.net slash home if it was if it was my home page you know slash ebook okay if this is where they were downloading an ebook and from there i can just click uh, the check mark and now this is my new link for this exact same page so again it just allows you you know custom domains are powerful it just allows you to brand your website uh, brand your company and make your links you know if you're going to be using them on social media or or giving them out uh, in some way you know using a custom domain makes it much easier to say uh, much easier to spell and much easier for your prospects and your customers to remember so that's pretty straightforward guys that's all you need to do to set up your own custom domain inside of Kartra and again once that's done it is done you only have to do it once and once that's set up you are good to go and of course if you need more help with Kartra we have done an entire step-by-step -step video series uh, literally showing you how to build out an entire automated sales funnel using Kartra how to wire it all together and make it all work and so there'll be links below this video to um, that entire video series so if you need help with that you know feel free to dive into those and also if you haven't yet signed up for Kartra uh, we did hook it up to where you get a one dollar 14 day trial uh, to Kartra and there'll be a link below this video so if you haven't already signed up for Kartra feel free to use my link and we are offering a couple of bonuses with that uh, the main bonus is that we are offering a one-on-one uh, -on -one strategy session uh, for anybody that signs up for Kartra using our link all you need to do is send me an email after you've signed up with the receipt and then I will email you back with the link to my online calendar we can book a call and I can help you out you'll answer any questions that you have about Kartra and how to move uh, either your current system over to Kartra or again if you're brand new and you're just getting started I can point you in the right direction on how to get going quickly uh, inside of your business using Kartra so that's all for this video, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next training.